1979 Ferrari. How's that for a great commute? Actually, it's nothing special, as Susan Spencer will explain. There is nothing typical about Tommy Lutz's typical commute. You're out there by yourself in this little tiny boat. Yeah. Out there on the sprawling Hudson River, the most peaceful part of his incredible 12-mile trek from his home in New Jersey to his office at Google in Manhattan. Where did you buy this boat? Uh, I did not buy this boat. I bought the plans to build this boat, and my son and I spent a few months in the summer putting it together. With all due respect, it looks a little flimsy. It's lightweight and foldable, yet also floats. Foldable is key, and Tommy's got it down. And the other side. He folds his foldable boat. Next, he unfolds his foldable bike. Then he bikes the boat to the dock where he refolds his bike and unfolds his boat. And faster than you can say origami, he's on the river. Do your coworkers think that you're completely nuts? They haven't said it to my face, but <laughs> I, I, maybe. <laughs> then again, maybe they're just jealous. Look at that traffic. Here we go. Getting anywhere in an automobile, it's just not a pleasant experience. Yeah. And then I have to worry, where do I put this car when I get to work? <laughs> <laughs> you can't fold it up. No, I can't fold it up. Can you see what would drive somebody to actually build his own boat to get to work? If that person was sitting in traffic and pounding on, on, on the dashboard, screaming out the window, I'm <laughs> mad as hell, I can't take it anymore, and then an idea pops up. I'll build a boat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the way you've decorated the ceiling. Yeah, we, we had a lot of fun with it. Meet transportation engineer Sam Schwartz, who has the dubious honor of having popularized the term gridlock. We are approaching gridlock in almost every major city. From California. Now, if you're 20 miles away from somebody in Los Angeles, they will not visit you. <laughs> they... To New York. The old joke is, shall we walk across town or do we have time to take a taxi? <laughs> <laughs> but gridlock Sam, as they call him, sees possible light at the end of the blocked intersection, namely millennials. The glimmer of hope is younger people wanting to be healthy and caring about their planet. They are showing up on bikes, walking, jogging. Hovercraft, uh, kite surfing. All those things. But it's not just young trendsetters. Here is 53-year-old Dan Hansen on his five-mile commute to work in Minneapolis. You ride the unicycle to work every day. Five days a week. He says his trusty unicycle, which he's been riding for almost two decades, is faster, cleaner, and cheaper than anything else. But what are you thinking when you're passing cars just sitting there, bumper to bumper? I'm thinking, boy, I'm glad I'm not in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> On the wheel, at seven feet tall, he is moving. Because you're perfectly comfortable riding in traffic. Perfectly comfortable. In all kinds of weather. Yes. Guess who else thinks this is a great idea? We're talking to a guy who rides a unicycle to work. Can you relate to that? I'd love to ride a unicycle to work. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Woo! For sure, right. our no, desperation to beat the traffic... Now I'm ready for my morning commute. Absolutely. <laughs> ...can make normal people try crazy things. That was good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we did that was it. super.